Hello and welcome to Dash Studio 101. Uh, I'm your gracious host, Javis Lewis, of course, and this is a foundation series on how to get started and how to get up and running with Dash Studio quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on going into details here. I'm going to reserve that for future videos that if you want to delve further into the matter, then, you know, explore that and keep watching my channel. Uh, a little bit about myself. You may have seen some of my earlier Dash Studio tutorials on YouTube or you may know me from some other place of the web. Um, I've been into technology and computers, well, ever since the 80s really. And uh, the thing that got me into 3D was when I saw a demo of Gran Turismo 3 in a shop window in Ealing in London uh, one day, late 2001. And that's a PlayStation kind of car racing game. And what attracted me to that was that the images that were rendered there on screen were so realistic that I thought, wow, I wonder, I wish I knew how they did that and how all this comes together. I had seen a Toy Story as well, and that got me very much interested in the whole uh, subject matter as well. And uh, the, what I really enjoyed was seeing being machines being able to create something like a human emotion that comes out and I always wanted to know how things work so uh, ever since I was a kid I, I always took my tape recorder apart because I wanted to know how it did the things that it did so um, I uh, did some research and got hold of a shady copy of Maya and 3D Studio Max which were the tools that professionals used to create amazing 3d scenes like i saw there on the on the screen and uh, installed them and i just had no idea how to use them there was no documentation to them and figuring out how any of that worked well, that was just more or less impossible so i kept searching and i kept looking and especially in regards to characters it was really difficult to get started it seemed to be an extremely complicated subject matter with all the rigging and the textures and all that so i finally found a company called das 3 3D, and they made a lot of content for a product that's called Poser uh, back then and they also had their own software package which was called Das Studio and at that point that must have been about 2003 2004 that was at a time before YouTube by the way YouTube got started in 2005 and looked like it was one of those fads left over from the internet bubble so um, uh, Das Studio version 2 was available, 3 was kind of a beta version, Victoria 4 was all the rage and uh, Michael 4 was, was nowhere to be seen yet. We had to wait for ages to, for him to come around and the Genesis line of figures hadn't even been conceived yet. So uh, that's how I got started and uh, invested a lot of time and money over the years in content, of course, in hardware and other softwares for the pipeline. So uh, many of the DAS products like Carrara or Hexagon, but also other things like Blender and Photoshop, of course, uh, and ZBrush and Marvelous Designer. So those are all parts of the things I use. And for editing, I use Premiere and Camtasia Studio. So the reason why I'm doing these videos is because many of you have been asking me for more Das Studio related content. And usually I make my videos completely unscripted and just for my own personal benefit really, if there's something I've discovered that I don't want to forget, I just put it on tape so either my future self will thank me for it. But it looks like it's been very helpful for you guys over the years. So, uh, you know, I want, to Kim, I want to continue that trend on. And I thought, uh, what better way to do than to start with the foundation skills course in 3D and specifically in Das Studio. And that's what this is. So the way this works is that uh, it's kind of a chilled out session. You and me sitting down and I'll try and explain everything I know about Das Studio to get you up and running quickly. Uh, these videos are completely free to watch on YouTube, of course, and on Vimeo. Uh, and if you would like to support me going forward uh, for these videos and for other videos, if you want to say thank you for what I've done for you, then uh, head over to my Patreon page and pick a tier and support me financially. Put something in my tip jar. It'd be greatly appreciated. And it's highly motivating when that happens. So you get all kinds of goodies in return. You get like end credits if you like, immortalized in the forthcoming videos, and you can get signed copies of my book you can get free web hosting you can all sorts of things so with all that said let's sit back relax and let's get started with das studio